Malaysia, it's 1974, which is okay because the 70s had all the good music. Music has sucked since then. Hey, I'm Jay Sheldon, and I'm not wearing pants. And we have a whole new look. I'm actually just testing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm trying to set this thing up. I just changed. And now I'm on Streamlabs OBS, which lets me add things like my new logo up here. This is my new logo. It's very cool. Um, if I get a new follower, you'll get the little bleep bleep thing. And <coughs> I have a donation bar over here. And in fact, I have a brand new studio. I just moved into this brand new room in my house, and I am still decorating it. I got this plant. I've got some neon coming. doesn't pick up the color as well on camera. Anyway, that'll go in my set later. It's actually really, really colorful, but I don't know if you can see it with the new hair. It's not going to pick up. Okay. So that's going on set soon. And the only real problem is I used to use uh, StreamYard and broadcast to Twitch on StreamYard, which let me see the chat. Now, the problem is, I had to add the chat in OBS Studios, as uh, Streamlabs OBS. So in order to see the chat, I had to put a box here on the screen, and um, I don't know that I did it right. I don't know if it's going to work. So, <laughs> we'll see. Um, but what the other thing I do have in my new studio is another camera. So, I now have two cameras, and you can, well, actually, there's a door over here. So, I've got that, too. Oh, yes, the chat is working. Cool. It's so tiny, I can't read it. But it's working. It's popping up. Like I said, the real problem is I made it too small. I can't see it. So, uh, let's see, wait a minute. Where is my regular chat window? I can't see. Everything's so small. Hey, hello there. I'm sorry, I have to make my, again, this is going to be a complete cluster because I do not know what I'm doing. So um, I don't know if I can do this or not. I'm going to try and go over to my window and do the chat box and make it bigger. See, I don't like those streams that have this giant chat box screaming across the side. It's, it's too big, too messy. Let's see if that's any better. I still can't read it in my preview monitor, but that's okay. Which means I also have to take and make it bigger in my second cam. There. All right. Uh, okay, over here, and then pop back over to this camera. Uh, let's see, try going to uh, Streamlabs settings and expand the text box. Yeah, that's... I think if I increase the font size in Streamlabs, that will help, too. Thanks, Honeybee. Um, and again, I, I can't always get everybody's name because it's so tiny. I have to fix that, and then I'll be able to say hi to everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. As I said, I am I'm learning slowly, but I, I'm getting there. Um, I'm hoping I can test my other widgets, so... If I get a get a new follower or something, I will uh, I'll see if that widget works. I've added a bunch of them. I just have to uh, figure out what it is that I'm doing. I mean, seriously, <laughs> this is news to me. Uh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Oh no! Wait, how do I go back? Shut this. Okay. 
alert boxes. That's not working. I think maybe I can't do this when I'm actually live. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Widgets, alert box themes. You're just going to have to live with me being an idiot here trying to figure stuff out because uh, that's just kind of the way I do things. Um, alert boxes. No, that's not it either. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'll get it. I'll get it. Where's my chat? Where's my chat box? All widgets. Alert box. Stream overlays. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to live with this. There are. Uh, okay. Anyway, I, by the way, I have this set up as Boomer Doom, because as you know, previously I was playing Pong, and um, I've I've now change to another old school game which is Doom. I actually do have that uh, somewhere. I'll get to it in a minute. Let me figure out this um, let me figure out this chat box. Where is the chat box? All widgets. Alert box. Stream overlay. By the way, just to give you a while I'm while I'm digging around here, bear with me. Uh, um, I had an interesting week. My dog Miko, the Shiba Inu, uh, got very very sick, and she has a sensitive stomach anyway. So she was throwing up all over the place. One night, um, what, Saturday night into Sunday, I was up all night with her. Then on uh, Sunday afternoon, suddenly she she just got better. Whatever it was was bothering her stomach. She had no energy. She's laying around. She's puking. Um, and just like I said, all of a sudden, she suddenly just uh, got better. Started running around. Was eating again. So that's a good thing. I cannot find. Oh wait. I might have found it. No. This isn't it. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna not screw with it anymore because I'm gonna break something. If I go here, I can I can at least see some of it. No problem. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh yeah. So okay. Yes, I'm in a, a brand new room of my house, which I have dedicated exclusively as a studio, uh, so we will be using this place for future broadcasts, and like I said, decorating my studio has only just begun, so we will be, uh, we'll be redoing it, and you'll see improvements as we go. I'll also be streaming more often. I have not been streaming because I've had so much stuff going on that I haven't had a chance, but I have missed you all. just joined us. Uh, we're live from uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where it's actually at 9.20 at night on um, Tuesday night. I know if you're in the U.S. watching, you're a day behind me, or at least 12 or 13 hours behind. Um, I've revamped a little bit of everything in the stream. I've got notifications now coming up. I've got um, I've got a donation box. If you like, you can actually contribute to me being a better boomer. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Whoops, that's a logo. This is a donation box. Okay, I gotta remember I'm reversed. <laughs> um, and again, I'm on tonight just testing this setup. I cannot guarantee you that this is even gonna work. Uh, 
but we'll try. Uh, let's see what happens when I move over to actually playing the game. Hang on a second. We've got to shut this down. Ah, here we go. Okay, you ready? Here we go. <laughs> yes, it's old school doom. Da, da, da. Let me see if I can. I don't know how well that sound is going to come out. Because the doom soundtrack, the, the effects and the growls and all that screaming was classic. Uh, I think I muted it. Wait, did I mute it? Yeah, sound is on, but I'm, I'm not sure I've got it loud enough that you can hear it. Oh, you know what else? Did I put a chat box into my game screen? Yeah, I think I did. Ah, there it is. Cool. Okay, so now you can kind of hear it. I hope it's not overpowering me. I'm, I hate wearing headphones on a live chat. I, I've done radio my whole life. I do a lot of voiceovers now. Uh, some of you know me from my No Straight Roads role and uh, other things that I've done voices for. But um, when I'm on live, I just cannot stand having headphones on. So I'm, I've got my, my mom, which is why I have a little bit of an echo. You have to forgive that too. Hey, boomer, you know? But I actually do love this game. This was the coolest game back in the day. It is so old school, but it was so cool back then. I think at one point I actually made it all the way to the end. I don't recall, but looking at it now, I think I actually did once make it all the way to the end. It's such a classic. <laughs> Again, this is going to be a boring stream. I promise you we'll have more fun down the road. I just wanted to get on and test what I have here and, and see if it was actually working. So far, so good. So um, we'll see what happens. Uh, what else? Because we don't really play games here other than the fact that you're watching one. But um, it's more like a just chatting channel with the game on as something to distract you. I went back to the office for the first time in a long time today, having been locked down at home. I work with Studio Voxel. We do content online, and we do visual effects for films, TV, things like that. Uh, our online content is really cool. If you want to check us out, you can uh, you can uh, look on Facebook for uh, Urban Jungle Food. That's one of our shows. The other one is called Random Acts. Uh, if you put Random Acts Malaysia, I think you'll get to the Facebook page. And uh, I think there's a YouTube channel, too, so you should check that out. Um, you know, I tried seriously playing this Doom game the other day offline, and I couldn't get out of the first level. I don't know what I was missing. I haven't seen this thing in a long time. But every time I tried to get out of the level, it wouldn't let me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at my actual Twitch feed right now. And everything seems to be working OK. The only thing I don't see. is a chat. Is anybody chatting? Can someone just send me a test message? Just anything. Testing one, two, three or something. Just to see if it's working or not. Because like I said, uh, this is just a test stream to see what is or isn't working. So I got to, I really need to figure that out. At this point, I'm not even sure if you can hear me. I've got, um, I've got everything open, everything running. Let's pump my mic up a little bit more there. Maybe it's a little better now. We'll see what happens. Uh, no, I don't want theater mode. OK. Ah, OK. Thank you. I, uh, I, see, I see the chat showing up in the bottom. But again, I've got to increase the size. It's way too small. 
I'm an old man and I can't see well. <laughs> Forgive me. I will increase the font, but I can't apparently do that right now. There, now it's a little bigger. That might be helpful. Okay. Uh, try going into Streamlabs settings and expand the text box. Yeah, I just made it bigger, but I know in the original Streamlabs uh, site, it would let me increase the font. Oh, you can't hear the game. We can hear you, but the game is... Uh... Okay, wait, I think I can fix that. Give me a second. Let me just move this up a little bit. There we go. Uh, there's that. Where is my game control? Where is my game control? There's that. Mm. Is that any? Oh, now it's really loud. At least on my end it is. Uh-oh. What happened to my game? Oh, no. Don't you love testing? Oh, that's why. Okay. Now it'll start making noise again. Let's see if that's any better. Yeah, test. Thank you. I'm it's so small I can't really see your name. Uh no, I'm not even going to try. But because it's too small, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me try theater mode. Maybe that's better. Mm. You still don't hear the game. Really? All right, I can I can fix that, but you're going to just have to bear with me while while we deal with it. Hang on a second. Audio output that's not it. Aha. Does this do it? Nope, that's not it. That should be frame cam. Hmm. Yeah, actually, you're right. Um, something bunny color. I'm sorry, my chat box, I, I need to work on that. I, I, I promise I'll get it fixed. Um, but you're right, it's, it's really more about the talking than it is about the silly gameplay. Yeah, and for some reason, it's not, uh, it's not pumping out the sounds. But like you said, it's not really about the, the gameplay. So <laughs> it should be all right. We'll <laughs> figure it out. Um, I don't know why that's, that is, that's really freaky, though. Hmm... Okay, audio output capture. Weird. Mm, let's see. What else? Nope, it's not that one. All right. I also need to find a background for this chat because it's, it's really annoying me that I can't give shout-outs to people that are Vestalicious. Now I can see that Vestalicious. Thank you. Um, okay. I will, let's see. There it is. And window capture. Yeah, that's all right. Just not going to work. I don't know why. And I'm going to stop worrying about it. Okay, so the gameplay works. Uh, I'm not actually going to be right back, but I'm going to transition to that to make sure that works, because like I said, I'm just really testing things tonight. Back to gameplay. And once again, I've got a, uh, a brand new double camera setup, so you can have twice the amount of boredom watching me on my channel. And, uh, of course, my my main cam here, um, again, just moved into a new room in the house dedicated exactly to this, uh, which means I'll be able to be on more often, say hi more often, and uh, be able to chat with you, hopefully, more often. Um, Uh, 
I will. Uh, okay, let me get out of this. You get, yeah, I'm sorry. You just have to bear with the stupidity as I try and figure everything out. I'll get it. Trust me. <laughs> I'm working on it. All right, let's get rid of Doom. We're not going to play that again. We'll dump Doom. There, and now it's just you and me. Hey! Steven Bones everything! You're hosting my stream with one viewer. Are you kidding me? Seriously. Thank you, Mr. Bones. That's very cool of you. And uh, thanks for the follow. Tat Tatya Streams. I think I got that right. Tatya Streams. Hey, um, thank you. Thank you for that. Thanks, Stephen. Hey, you're here. Yes. My significant other bought me a very nice Christmas present, and it is this chair. And it's damn comfortable. It's not. It's not. I can't say this too loud. It's not as nice as Stephen Bone's chair. But then again, you know, it wasn't several gazillion dollars. It was very expensive, though, and it's a very nice chair. It's very cool. It goes way back, and I'm, I'm afraid if I go way back, I'm going to tip over. But, um, yeah, the chair is, is really cool. You can see it a little better in, in that shot. There you go. My old one was old and ratty and falling apart and a complete mess. So, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> this one is entirely comfortable, good for my back, good for my butt, and uh, yeah, and it was a very nice Christmas gift, so thank you very much. Uh, yeah, multicam production some more. How about that, huh? Woohoo! Um, and yes, Stephen, um, uh, JD, JD45, I am doing well, thank you. Um, yes, Stephen, I, I moved into a new room in my house, inspired by you, and uh, so I'm just getting it set up. I managed to get a plant in here and a, a bit of a purple light, because purple's kind of my thing. And I've got another plant coming. I got a piece of neon, <clears throat> and I have, I have a, a little side table and some other stuff to kind of fill in this giant blank space here so I will hopefully get that um, get that up and running and get back on again I've been trying to get this move accomplished so that I can get on more often and uh, and say hi tonight is just an absolute freak broadcast I had no intention of, of going on or going live but I decided I wanted to test the system and see how it was working um, and I've already found a few things that I need to do better, including this stupid chat box down here. I hate this, but it's the only way I can actually see the chat live as it happens. I am using now a Streamlabs OBS, but it honestly, it takes a lot more work than just using StreamYard, and I can multicast to Facebook and to my YouTube channel and to Twitch, and I actually can see the chat over in the corner live as it happens from all three sources. Um, I'm sure there's probably a way using Streamlabs. I just haven't figured it out yet. So that's a part of what tonight is all about, is trying to figure out exactly what it is uh, that I'm doing and how to set it up. So what I would normally do offline, you have the pleasure of watching me screw up online. That'll be fun. Uh, you know, I have to tell you something. We were eating dinner earlier, and something, we have these uh, metal awnings over our window, our like patio of glass, big glass sliding doors, and uh, there's a metal awning, and while we're eating, something crashes onto this roof. So I look out, I look up, I go to the other side of the house, and I look out, there's nothing there. I have no idea what the hell it was, but it was big and heavy. It made a huge noise. Now, just now, okay, here's a little fourth wall breaking behind the scenes. In this room, there's a bathroom over here. Just now, above the bathroom ceiling, there's another big crash. I don't know if you heard it. 
because this mic doesn't pick up everything outside very well. I've got it gated, but there's another big crash above my spare bathroom. If something is up on my... You know, the thing is, is that... Um, Steven, uh, take your time, dude. It uh, took me a while to figure things out as well. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I will reach out uh, in your Discord there and check it out. By the way, folks, if you haven't, although I'm sure most of you here are because of Stephen Bones, thank you again, hat tip, Stephen. Um, but if you haven't, please follow, subscribe, join up with Stephen Bones, give him all your support, because he is a he's a hell of a friend and a hell of a, and a, hell of a guy, uh, really. Um, I was sorry on Sunday, the No Straight Roads uh, voice actors did a, an amazing green screen studio uh, live broadcast on Stephen's channel. I, I'm really sorry, I was supposed to be there, the dog was sick, couldn't make it. I'm sorry I missed that. But um, Tatya helps me a lot with my, oh, cool. I will, I rely, I will rely on you guys. Thank you. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, uh, there's these, you might have to help me with this if you're still here, Stephen. There are these wild cats that usually live on people's roofs or in their attics or their crawl spaces. We have them here in Malaysia. I don't think we have them in. Uh, I don't think we have them in the U.S. I don't know about the U.K., but I want to say musang. Is that the right word? They're, they're like a wild cat, but they're not a not not, not like a feral cat. Um, they're they're some sort of feline species. Often, weirdly enough, you can actually see them walking along the power lines. How they balance on that, I have no idea. But they will go house to house or across the rooftops of link houses, and they'll sometimes live. I think I've got... Civets! Yes, thank you, Stephen. Civet. Civet cats. You can, you know, net search them. Uh, civic and see what they look like. But we have civets here. And even in the suburb where I live... Uh, they will get into your crawl space in your attics and set up shop there, maybe have a family. I don't know. But you can hear them. A couple times I've heard pitter-patter of feet. Um, and it's either the neighborhood cats or it's the civets because I've seen them out on the wires and running across the roof. Very weird. Um, as far as I know, they're relatively harmless. I mean, I don't think they, they do any harm. I wouldn't want to get close to them because they probably bite you, but um, but they're uh, they're here, and I have a feeling that might be what it is. I might have a civet on the roof who's like jumping from one roof to the other and smashing around. So uh, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Game bunny color. They look like slender raccoons. You're exactly right. That's a great description. <laughs> <laughs> Slender raccoons. <laughs> oh, my. Um, okay, so the chat box is working. I'll go in and increase the font. That's what I'm going to have to do because it's impossible to actually see it and read it on my, uh, on my Streamlabs OBS. I actually have my live stream, which is delayed by several seconds, open in a separate window so that I can make it bigger and uh, and actually see the chats. But um, it's working anyway. That's the main thing. Both cameras are working. And uh, other than some funky lighting, I need to uh, I need to rearrange some lighting stuff. But that's all right. I think overall everything seems to be seems to be working pretty well. How did I go up to eight viewers? How is that possible? I'm just testing. There's nothing to see here. Except a, an old boomer trying to figure out how to make his chat box bigger. Which I'm thinking is something I can't do while I'm online because Streamlabs site is not letting me do it. I think it's locked down because it's live right now. So I will do that after I sign off, which is going to going to be happening fairly soon, so that I can uh, get things tweaked up 
and hopefully work on making this a little easier to navigate. Again, I'm, um, it's just a test broadcast tonight. We'll be back up and have lots of things to talk about, maybe even tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly. I don't have a fixed schedule yet for when I will be on, but I will also get to that, so I'll actually have a, an actual schedule. Although, oh, that's what I started to talk about. I work with Studio Voxel. We do online content. We do um, uh, urban jungle food. We do uh, random acts, a few other shows coming up. We make films. We have a feature film coming out next year, which next year is all but about 48 hours away from now. Uh, not the film, but the next year. Um, but next year we will have our film in likely in cinemas. Hopefully we can all get back to the cinema. Uh, and we also uh, do visual effects for anyone's film who wants to hire us. Uh, I am going back from having worked at home since March uh, and been to the office maybe three or four times since started working from home. Osman! Hey! I'll get to you in a minute, dude. Don't go away. Uh, so starting on Monday, I'm going to start going back to the office on a more regular basis. So uh, that's not going to let me uh, be doing any live streaming during the middle part of the day, but um, that's all right. Osman Zukipli, welcome. Great to see you. Osman, uh, if you don't know, is another inmate. For forgive the neighbor's dogs, okay? Uh, Osman is uh, another incredibly talented um, voice talent, voice actor. Um, he does some amazing work. Of course, also No Straight Roads. He was in uh, Agent Ali, both the Bahasa Malaysia and the English version. I was also in Agent Ali, but since my Bahasa sucks, I'm in the English version, which aired here in Malaysia on TV Tiga over the uh, holiday on Christmas Eve, I think. Uh, that was fun. So if you see Agent Ali, the English version, I play the Datuk and one of the bad guys, I think. I forget what the character's name is. Um, Osman's been doing voices for quite a while. He's a great talent and a, a great guy, too. Very uh, very nice guy. We uh, I appreciate your showing up tonight. Thank you. It was a night that we were just testing things. So uh, nice to have you here. And I see Mocha Cat is also a fan. <laughs> This is so cool. You know, it's like a group of friends getting together and just hanging out, which is really what I wanted this stream to be all about. I put the boomer stuff in here with the playing games just as something to take up screen space. Um, but it's cool. If, if you're not from Malaysia, one of the things that we do when we're not in a lockdown is we go to what are the mamak stalls, cheap restaurants that sell greasy food, inexpensive stuff, but actually it's really yummy. And uh, we just hang out, we chit chat, bullshit, talk about whatever it is. And uh, people can hang out for hours doing that. And I'm, I'm only, ex if you're from Malaysia, I'm, I'm explaining the obvious. But um, if not, yeah, my mug's the best. Um, if, you're, if you're not from Malaysia, you know, it's, it's like a midnight diner sort of thing. Um, only it's usually in the open and tables are set up in parking spaces on the street and uh, you just pray to God no drunk driver goes by and careens through the crowd and don't think that hasn't happened before. But um, you're great too, Jay. Aw. Yeah, okay. The Mutual Admiration Society. <laughs> All right. Really cool. Um... I think I have, oh man, I'm up to 11 viewers. I don't want to leave because I got a lot of people hanging out. Honey Bee. Honey Bee draws. All right. Um, again, the stream tonight was just to test stuff, and it looks like everything's working fairly well. Um, you guys can go ahead and chat amongst yourselves in the chat box. That's okay. I'll find something else to do. Can you hear that dog? 
Can you hear that dog? Is my mic picking the dog up? Because you know what I think is happening? When I'm talking, there's a window over here which goes over to the neighbor's place. Yeah, you can hear the dog. No, that's not my dog. My dog is relatively quiet. The neighbors have these three or four dogs on this side, my side of their house. It's actually really kind of horrible. They've just, they're basically just an alarm system. They don't play with the dogs. I assume they must feed them because they're still alive. But the dogs just are there, not as a pet, as an alarm system. Sorry, my personal opinion, not the reason to have animals, but unfortunately in this country, a lot of people do that. They don't care about the dogs, they're just an alarm system. And um, what happens is that when I'm talking quietly like this, they can't really hear me out there. But sometimes, like suddenly I had raised my voice like this, and when I do that, they can hear it. And then they start barking, reacting to my voice. So I'm thinking this window in my new studio is going to have to have some soundproofing put on it. Because I tend to get a little loud sometimes. And when I do, I don't want the dogs barking all the time. And they bark all the goddamn time. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, honeybee, I have a Shiba Inu. Um, she's adorable. She just turned one year old on the 1st of December. We had a little birthday cake for her. Um, there's all kinds of pictures. Uh, her name is Ichiko Mikoto, but that's too long to yell when you're mad at her, so we call her Miko, M-I-K-O. Um, Actually, if you check out my Facebook page, you'll see a bunch of pictures of her. I mean, among other things, but there's a lot of pictures of her. In fact, today, I posted a video on my Rumble account. You can check out uh, rumble.com, Jay Sheldon, uh, and also on my, uh, my Facebook page. I I'm in here trying to get things set up and work on the studio and stuff. And right outside of, hang on, let me switch cameras here. I'm going to do that. There we go. Right outside this door. I don't even know. Maybe you can see it. Okay, that's the stairs to go downstairs. But on the floor is this big fur rug. So it's, it's like one of those fake faux fur rugs, gray color or something. Looks like a big wolf. It's just fur. And it's fake. It's not real. So... I'm in here working, and I'm on the laptop like this, and suddenly something catches my eye out there. And I look out, and my rug has come alive. Suddenly, my rug has this big hump in it, and it's moving. <sighs> Miko had crawled under the rug. She's, com she's pretty big, and the rug's not that big. She crawled under the rug. She's completely covered in rug. And this rug is long. It's like almost two meters long. And she's moving around out in the hallway underneath the rug. Check out the video. I posted it on my Facebook page and my rumble.com uh, account. You have to see this. It's so funny. It's like the, this fluffy monster walking out in the hallway. Um, yeah, she is adorable. She is so cute. And... Um, a Shiba Inu, I already love her. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. Yeah, she's special. She is absolutely incredible. Um, she's had some health problems, like I said, with her stomach. Uh, so we have to be really careful uh, what we feed her. But um, And she is a holy terror. She runs around the house racing. She, I mean, she's incredibly well-behaved. Shibas can be a little standoffish with other people and with other dogs. But honestly, I've never, no matter what, I've had a lot of dogs in my life. I've never had a dog as open and friendly as Miko is with everybody. 
I mean, complete strangers, anything. She loves people. She loves to, uh, she loves to uh, interact with people. She, she never, I'm sure she would never think of biting anybody. She'll just lick you to death. Um, she loves other dogs. I mean, if, if another dog comes up to her when we're on a walk with her, she will be all excited and her tail is wagging. Now, some of the other dogs are not so friendly, so you can tell, you know, the other dogs are a bit standoffish and their tail's straight and they're not wagging their tail. But if the other dog's got his tail going and she's got her tail going, she's right in there for the kill. She, she couldn't be happier meeting other uh, other animals. Um, no, we did not adopt her. Look, I I'm, a, I'm a big supporter of the shelters, the SPCAs, and adopting uh, dogs. I have adopted many dogs in my lifetime. Um, in this case, I just seriously have always wanted a Shiba Inu, and so I we purchased her from a reputable, good breeder who we researched and checked out thoroughly before we did that. Um, so, uh, again, please support your local SPCA. Adopt if you can. In this case, because I specifically wanted to have a Shiba Inu, uh, we actually purchased the dog. And it wasn't cheap. It was bloody expensive. But, not bragging, it was worth every penny. I'm never been so, so pleased with an animal. She is, she's amazing. Um... If I knew how to do it better, oh, maybe I can get her up here and put her on stream. Miko! Hey, Miko! That's one thing she is, is stubborn. If she doesn't want to come, she ain't coming. I will try and get her up here, though. Miko! Come here, baby. Miko, you got 11 people who want to see you. Miko, Miko. She will come if I tell her I have a cookie, but I don't have a cookie, so I can't help her. Miko, you want a cookie? Miko, come here, babe. Oh, I heard motion. It could be happening. Let's see, Miko. Hey, come here, girl. No, that's a microphone. Don't do that. Okay? Don't do that. That's a microphone. Let's switch over to the other camera. There you go. Let's put you over here so you're not in the chat box. Huh? There's Miko. Say hi, everybody. Say hello. Hi. Hi. See? That's you. See how tolerant she is? She puts up with my crap. <laughs> Let me see if I can take you out of the chat box a little bit. Put you on the other side. Is that okay? Are you okay? Can you give me a kiss? Can you? You, she's so fascinated looking at herself on the screen. Hey, Miko. Can you give me a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, say bye bye, guys. Say bye, guys. Say bye, guys. All right, there you go. Good girl. Ah. Ah. Wow. All right, so that's Miko. Thank you. Yes, she is beautiful. We love her to bits. <laughs> I'll bring her back. I'll bring her back on on a regular basis if I can talk her into actually coming on. But that's not always so easy to do. Sometimes she's... She's very belligerent sometimes. She will come only if she wants to. Um, but that's all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, 
bag. Game bunny color says bye bye Miko. Mocha cat says bye bye Miko. What? Oh, now you want to come back on? Before I couldn't get you up here. Now you won't go away. <laughs> She's sitting down there looking up at me like, please put me back on camera. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, you want to draw her under the rug? Yeah, check out the video if you watch it. At one point, her little nose was sticking out of the fire. It's hard to see, but you get a little nose sticking out of one side of the rug. <laughs> oh, man. That was wild. Cool. Um, all right, guys. I I'm going to shut this down for the night. I cannot thank you enough. I didn't expect, actually, to get hardly anybody watching, because, like I said, I'm, I was just testing. Uh, and I know uh, some things are working and some things are not. Uh, hello, B.O. This is my first of your streams I've been able to catch. Well, I'm glad you were able to catch. Hello, B.O. Um, very cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, okay, yeah, do do check out the uh, check out the video on uh, it's on Rumble.com, Jay Sheldon, and uh, also Facebook. Me up, I'm on there, um, and my posts are usually always uh, always public. So cool. The test is good, Jay. Thanks, Oz, Osman. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm working on the background in the studio still. So there's a, there's a bunch of a bunch of other stuff that is uh, still to come. So I'm gonna color it up a little bit, do some purple lights and some purple neon and uh, a couple of little effects here and there, just some practicals so that uh, I've got something a little more interesting to look look at in my background. Um, so yeah, we'll put it all together and we'll keep uh, we'll keep doing these live streams and, and just chat about whatever the hell comes up at the moment. You've got something you want to talk about, we'll talk about that too. Um, uh, all right. Um, that worked. I got a follower and my little widget worked for the follower. I saw that come up. That was cool. I got to increase the font size in my chat box because I'm like 130 years old and I can't see. It's too damn small. Um, of course, I didn't get any donations, so I don't know if my donation box works. But that's a really cheapy ass way to get you to give me money. So don't worry about that. I'll figure that part out later. Um, but you, you can if you want. It's It's... it's up there um, we'll see what happens uh, thank you guys thanks everybody for uh, for stopping by Osman Stephen thank you um, again I have yet to figure out raids but I'm aware of that and so we'll try and send everybody out raiding and my other streams once I get more used to this but again boomer time I am limited because I'm 150 years old, so bear with me. I did manage to get so far as to actually set up the camera and set up another camera, uh, so hopefully that'll uh, that'll work. And we'll get back to playing some Doom uh, at some point. We'll get the game back up and running. Uh, it'll be over there. Oh, look. See? Now my chat is all over my... Uh, all over my camera. So I need to fix that too. There's another thing you gotta The problem is you can't test the chat unless you're online. So I'll figure it out. I may be old, but I'm not that stupid. <laughs> yeah, we were playing Doom earlier, Osman. I'm sorry you missed it. Uh, we were playing a little bit of Doom. I, I will play it again. That's my theme of the, of the month uh, is Doom. So we'll be playing some old school Doom, some of that. What was it, 8-bit? I don't know, something like that. All right, guys, um, thanks much, and we will uh, we will see you again on the other side at some point. Uh, enjoy. Thank you for joining. Thank you, our new follower, or one or two that we gained in this uh, this broadcast. Appreciate that a lot. Wow, I hate to leave you now. We're into we're 15. The next big streamer on the rise, bigger than Ninja. Hello, B. Wise, Defretta, uh, Defrets, yeah. Um, I hope so. Thank you, Renee. Thanks for joining. See you, uh, Azan. See you, everybody. We will see you again uh, very soon. Very soon, I hope. I need to figure out 
where I'm going to go. So I think we're going to go to a Be Right Back screen because I can't paint it black at the moment. Um, thanks, guys. We will see you again next time.